What up YouTube, it's Momento and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. In today's video we will look how to increase your FPS in Minecraft. <clears throat> so in this video you will learn a lot of things that are good for your FPS boost. Like how to dedicate your RAM in every client, which will be shown to you step by step, so stay tuned for that. I'm here with my friend Artushik. Uh, short RT, he is my editor. I'm not some kind of tutorial channel, but these videos are getting hella fame, so I want to keep grinding them. Also guys, before the video starts, please make sure you are subscribed, since uh, you can always unsubscribe anyways. And also you can watch my other videos, it would mean a lot to me. Also, I'm planning big things for the future, so you don't want to miss them. <laughs> Also, I'm planning big things for the future, so you don't want to miss them by hitting the bell notification. Anyways, let's go on to the video. The first thing that gives you opportunity to have more FPS is to use some sort of clients instead of vanilla Minecraft launcher. I recommend you to use clients like Lunar, Badlion or Labimod. These are clients that boost your FPS. I personally use Labimod. Now, Lobby Mode does not boost your FPS that much, but I'm still using it because I have cosmetics on there and I just like the taste of it, I guess, so... <laughs> the second thing on the list is to download Optifine. It's the mod that makes your game a lot smoother. Honestly, the game after you download Optifine is more smoother than the boys in the DMs after curfew. Or you can choose the installation while installing the client itself. So you don't have to download it separately. The third and the most obvious thing is to dedicate more RAM memory to Minecraft. There is only 2GB of RAM dedicated to Minecraft by default. So if you have enough RAM in your setup, trust me, that dedicating more RAM to your Minecraft will make big difference with FPS and gameplay itself itself will be less laggy, trust me. For example, if you have only 8GB of RAM, which is pretty decent for today's standards, just dedicate like 3 or 4GB to Minecraft. It really depends on how much RAM you actually have in your computer though. I personally have 16GB in my computer, so I will dedicate it like 6 or up to 8 sometimes. So do it like as I show you in the video. In the Lunar client, uh, dedicating RAM is really easy, just go right here and here is a load memory and you can see I have like uh, my left here so just I'm gonna put it like on 6 and save In Bedline client it's pretty much same as in Lunar, let's go to the settings for right here and there are the RAM in megabytes, not gigabytes, so be aware of that and you just swipe it like this to like 4 or 3, it really depends on your RAM size, I have it on 6 or 8 so yeah, then you're going to play, as you can see it's still here, so then you can launch. So when you are in the Minecraft, go to the installation, choose your version and use edit. Then go to the more options and here you can see these two numbers just put it right here and use save and yeah then you have change your gigabytes of ram dedicated in your minecraft launcher another really big changing thing is to use the right resource pack there is a lot of resource pack that you can use but only some of them change your game drastically to smooth gameplay. For example, season egg packs in general 
really smooth to your gameplay since they are more simple and your game doesn't need to load massive textures. Now again, I personally use Azul 16x but you can really choose any 16x resource packs. Or if 16x is not enough for you, you can go even lower with more simple packs like 8x or 4x or 2x but then your game will really look like poo poo at that point. And the last one, and really obvious one if you ask me, is to lower your options in game. It's really best to set all on low, but then your gameplay experience gets really bad. So I will show you mine instead, so you can copy them. So from options went to the video settings and we start with graphics, use that on fast, smooth lighting on maximum, uh, smooth lighting level 100, guy scale, uh, that's up to you. I'm using large because it looks good on the video. Brightness, I use moody but it really depends. I have full bright mode so I don't really care where I put the brightness. Dynamic, light, dynamic lightning fancy, shaders off. Details, we will get to them later. Animation, okay later. So render distance. Render distance it's really important put that on 8 or 6 don't go lower or don't go higher because server loads only 10 chunks so you don't need to put the put the render distance up to like 42 max frame rate uh, put that on unlimited blue <laughs> like don't put it right here that point you will be stupid we are bobbing I use off, use VBO on, attack indicator, crosshair, dynamic POV on, and let's go to the details. So on details I have clouds off, trees fancy cause you want to see through the leaves, sky off, sun off because that takes lots of FPS, fog off. Transl translucent blocks default, drop items default, virginity, fucking virginity, swamp color is on, cloud height off, rain and snow default, stars on, that's because if you're using custom resource packs, so you can use custom sky, show capes on, because I have cape, fog start 0.4, Hot item tool options on, you can have them off, but I have it on. Entity shadow on, alternate blocks on, and smooth biome on. Animation settings, I have some of them off, like void particles, uh, also rain splash off, and portal particles off, also portal animated off. Let's go to the quality settings. I have minimap levels off. I have minimap type nearest. Anti aliasing off. Anisostropic filtering off. Clear water off. Better grass off. Custom font on. Connected textures fancy. Custom sky on. Custom entity models on. Emassive textures on. Random entities on. Better snow off. Custom colors on, natural textures off, and custom items on, and custom guys on. Because these are like two texture packs. So let's go to the performance settings. In performance settings I have smooth FPS off, a smooth world off, fast render. It should be on, but you can't use shaders so... Yes, put it on on if you don't want to use shaders. Fast math on, chunk updates one, dynamic update on, render render regions on, lazy chunks loading on, smart animations on. Let's go to the others. And in others, just copy my settings again. And 
and yeah this will be it okay guys and this will be it for today's video hope you like it don't forget to comment down below and also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and hit the bell notification because we planning doing more of those videos soon and yes we plan doing big things this year so we're going to put some banger out so yeah be ready for that okay and this will be it for today's video so see ya and peace out